Hi, my name is Kenzie Bryant, and this is my introduction video for Art 151 Section B for Pre-Communication Design. A little bit about me. So I'm a graphic designer in the Office of Communications and Marketing over at Miami University Regionals Campus. I've been in this position since 2017. I'm pursuing a second bachelor's degree in the Communication Design program to ensure a permanent career path in graphic design. Why Art 151 beyond the requirement for the communication design program? Well, pre-communication design will help me understand different pathways in graphic design, but also the professor's previous experience piqued my interest. So being a fellow Miami University alumni and having worked in design agencies in Cincinnati is also an added bonus. In this photo, you can see myself, my cat Sookie, and my boyfriend Austin. We all live in Hamilton, Ohio. The P in the PACES model stands for practical, and that means that you're able to meet deadlines, follow procedures, adapt to workplace culture, and work within limitations. When comparing myself to the PACES model, I'd like to think that I'm practical like Dodger. Dodger is a character from Disney's 1988 film Oliver and Company. The song Why Should I Worry describes Dodger as streetwise, I can improvise. I have an educational background in integrative studies, the degree that I got in 2017. My focuses were in organizational leadership and family, gender, and society. I also have a knack for storytelling and working on a shoestring regionals budget. This makes me a well-rounded practical designer. The A in the PACES model stands for analytical, which means you are able to reason through problems, work iteratively, and make well-informed logical decisions. This is probably not my strongest point of the PACES model, so I think I am analytical like Dory. Dory is the Pacific Blue Tang fish from Pixar's 2003 film Finding Nemo. Dory suffers from short-term memory loss, but is otherwise very intelligent. So when working with print vendors, I would sometimes forget the details of paper stock, client account codes, and figuring out the postal system to meet deadlines. A lot of this numbers and math part of it is not my strong suit, the analytical parts of my job. But I found a way to overcome that by, I began utilizing a spec sheet, which is a PDF of all the details of the print order, and I save it in the same folder as the final print document. So it really shines with my creative work. The C in the PACES model is creative, which focuses on synthesis and invention, generating inventive, engaging ideas and outcomes. When comparing myself to the PACES model, I think I'm creative like Flick. And Flick is the create the protagonist from Pixar's 1998 film, A Bug's Life. Flick is an inventive and courageous ant who wants to make things better for his colony. Sometimes his inventions don't really help out though um, and are a little unnecessary. The reason I see this is because when I see a design in need or a problem at hand, I immediately begin churning ideas of how to fix it or better the situation. Particularly event flyers I might see on campus that didn't request help from our office um, were used with Microsoft Paint um, and not with a design eye in mind. I've learned to control my eagerness to fix things by observing the situation and its needs before taking action and taking over. The E in the PACES model is emotional or interpreting and expressing emotions, accurately interpret and apply emotions in design work and personal interactions. And with that, I think I am emotional like morph. Morph is a blob of space goo from Disney's 2002 film Treasure Planet. He has the ability to morph into any object. He's um, very empathetic and very observant of other people's emotions. So since my job um, began in 2017, I have assisted our College of Liberal Arts and Applied Science Dean, Kathy Bishop-Clark, in creating slide decks. Often she'll convey the situation or tone she's trying to show to our audience. Um, usually we start with just a Google Doc um, of the talking points and we'll move from there. When we talk on Google Hangouts about this, she'll usually say if she's trying to have a motivational, lighthearted, or factual point of view. I'll take her talking points and kind of cultivate imagery and color choices within the Miami brand to match her desired expression. And finally, the S in the PACES model is social. And that means um, collaboration and engagement with others. You're able to collaborate in teams, work one-on-one -on -one with others, and facilitate consensus. So I like to think that I'm social like Baymax. Baymax is an observant robot personal healthcare companion from Disney's 2014 film, Big Hero 6, where Baymax becomes deflated and loopy when he has a low battery. 
So while I have a very extroverted nature, I quickly need to recharge my social battery. Um, if I overextend myself with lots of meetings or evening events on campus or anything like that, I can miss details and really lack the motiv motivation to get the job done well. Um, so I'm very social and I'm very good at it, but I need to make sure that I spend some time on my own to recharge. And finally, why design Miami OH? Prior to syllabus day, I never truly considered other fields besides being an in-house graphic designer, which is my current position. I know for sure that I do not want to be an independent or freelance designer. I like the security of a job and the security of having um, things to do every day. I also like in my current position, I have this a little bit, but I like being connected um, and helping people and bettering my local community. I'm keeping my mind open to, however, based on our readings this week, service design. I like the idea of breaking down silos and bridging different areas um, in a department to make sure that the marketing and design is an overarching goal of the entire company or system or community. What aligns best with my previous experience though is probably collateral design or package design. I've done a lot of collateral design in my current position, whether it's brochures, flyers, social media, billboards, um, anything of that nature I've done. A little bit of web design as well. Package design is something I've always been interested in. In high school, I met somebody from Procter & Gamble in the package design department for uh, women's cosmetics. And that just really inspired me how the package really is the front image of the brand um, in store shelves. So I'd be interested in at least doing an internship or a small package design project. And with that, that is the end of my presentation. Thank you so much. I look forward to the rest of the semester.